Hey guys, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement during this extremely stressful time. Without debate, this year has already been filled with many trials and tragedies. This not only includes the families that have lost loved ones after succumbing to the novel coronavirus, but now several cities here in America are facing the outrage of those who believe that rioting is the best way to solve the inequality that they experience on a daily basis. In light of these recent events, it's crucial for every Christian to realize that the world needs Jesus more than ever before. It's possible that you're a believer who has experienced the hatred of racism. If so, please trust me when I tell you that the best way to deal with those who are racist, well, it's to present them with the gospel of grace so that they might repent of their racism. The fact of the matter is that we all struggle with sin. We've all fallen short of God's perfect standard. Therefore, rather than attempting to fight fire with fire, the born-again believer should stand against the wickedness of this world by leading the lost into the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we do, the Lord will help us to overcome the evils of racism with the grace of God. And, and, and as they come to Christ, the racists will begin to repent of their racism. And this is good news. With this as the goal... I encourage you to consider something that Paul wrote in Romans chapter 12, where he declares, Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. According to Paul, the best way for believers to overcome the evils of this world is by extending to them the grace of God. Let's extend the grace of God to those who hate us. And in this way, we can lead our enemies into the peace of God by faith in Jesus Christ. Rather than fighting fire with fire, rather than trying to overcome evil with evil, let's overcome evil with good so that those who are evil might repent of their evil ways. Listen, the racist and the rioter, they both need Jesus. And so let's preach the gospel of grace. Let's go out and accomplish the Great Commission so that every sinner might be saved by faith in the finished work of our gracious Savior, Jesus Christ. With that, let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for the rioters. Let's pray for the racists. Let's pray that people will recognize their need for the Lord Jesus Christ.